First time getting a Tennessee warbler on video as it feasts on nectar of the devil's walking stick berries in the Great Smoky Mountains. If you watch closely, you'll see it piercing the small berries and eating the nectar inside. This cluster of devil's walking stick trees with ripe fruit in early October is a migrating bird magnet. The Tennessee warbler is never bred in Tennessee. The name comes from the specimen that Alexander Wilson collected on the banks of the Cumberland River while the bird was on migration in 1811. The breeding range of this species is almost entirely in the boreal forests of Canada. This dainty songbird has a robust voice and often signals the peak of spring migration in Tennessee and North Carolina. It is a common migrant across the states and is present from mid-April to mid-May and then again from late August to late October. The Tennessee warbler spends the winter in central and northern South America. This small drab songbird has a sharp bill, a thin white line over the eye and an olive green back, and is white below with a gray wash to the sides. It has no wing bars, tail spots, or eye rings. The male and female are similar in plumage, but juvenile birds are overall more yellow. Their song is a series of several loud sharp chips, usually in a pattern of two or three sets. During migration across much of the eastern two-thirds of the United States, it is found in woodland, forest edges, and shrubby areas. The Tennessee warbler diet consists of insects, caterpillars, fruit, and nectar, as we see in this example. The Tennessee warbler is a specialist on the spruce budworm, so the numbers of Tennessee warblers fluctuate in response to periodic outbreaks of the budworm in Canadian forests. During budworm epidemics, the breeding density for this warbler may exceed 50 territories for every 25 acres. The first nest of the Tennessee warbler was not discovered until 1901. Due to the remote area in Canada where this bird breeds and the difficulty in finding nests, many aspects of its breeding behavior are still unknown. The Tennessee warbler often overwinters in coffee plantations in Latin America. It has been suggested that a more appropriate name might be the coffee warbler.